Okay, now the fourth ray diagram for convex lens that is the object is between C and F that center of curvature and focus or between 2F and F. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to draw the principal axis. Okay, and then the lens. the perpendicular line to the principal axis from the optical center okay at a distance 3 centimeters on either side we are going to mark focus and at a distance 6 centimeters from the optical center we are going to mark the centers of curvatures Okay, we can show the position of the lens by making these curves, keeping protractor on the 90 degrees line with the principal axis and you can mark these two curves. Okay. The next thing that we are doing is the position of the object. Okay, the object is between center of curvature and focus. So, again same precaution you have to take that you don't place the object very close to F. Otherwise, the image will go out of the page. Okay, so I am just keeping this as the position of the object. I will mark this as AB. Now, the next ray that I am drawing okay, is the ray that is parallel to the principal axis. All right. This ray that is parallel to the principal axis after refraction or passing through the lens has to pass through the focus. All right. The second ray that I am drawing, okay, through point A that is passing through the optical center. Now this ray will travel without suffering any deviation. Alright, now you can see where the grey colored ray and yellow colored rays are meeting. That is the position of our image. Okay. So, I will mark the arrows. The grey colored ray first. Okay. This is the ray that is traveling parallel to the principal axis. After refraction or passing through the lens, it is passing through the focus. The second ray that is yellow colored ray. Okay. This ray through point A is passing through the optical center and after refraction it is not going to change its path or it will travel without any deviation. Now you can see this is the point where both of these rays are meeting. Okay, so this is going to be our position of the image. Okay, I'll mark these points as A dash, B dash. Okay, now we'll see the characteristics of the image. First is its nature. Nature is real and inverted. Next thing is its position. Okay, you can see it is beyond C or beyond center of curvature. And the third thing is its size. You can see here the size of the object is only one line while here the image is bigger than that. So, the size of the image is magnified. 